Stand up and be counted. About 72% of the country filled out those census forms this year, and the results are highlighting the changing face of America. The New America is a TV special produced by the network Mundos, that is a part of NBC Universal, and it focuses on the importance and influence of the growing Latino community right here in the United States. You're struggling to make our lives better. Well, if you want to make our lives better, you got to fill this out so that the government knows we're here and knows how many of us there are. Joining me live here in studio, MSNBC contributor Maria Teresa Kumar, the executive director for Voto Latino. Good morning. Good morning, Alex. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for being here on this Sunday morning. And, you know, that guy that was just interviewed there, he really synopsized what this is all about. you got to stand up and be counted, but particularly for the Latino community. How crucial is this? Well, it's crucial because we've had literally close to 3 million people move into the United States in the last, since the last census. Either they were moved or they were born, and 60% of them are of Hispanic descent. And it's going to be the the very first time that we're going to be able to identify new Latino populations that are all of a sudden sprouting in South Carolina, Georgia, Indiana, places that we didn't, that they didn't even exist 10 years ago. Right. You normally think maybe the desert southwest, of course, Florida and the like. But let's talk about the special, uh, the New America. What can viewers expect to see here? Because this is a pretty daunting task, try to synopsize all this in an hour. I, I, at first, it's an incredibly ambitious project, but Mundos has an incredible history of doing really good award-winning documentaries. And in this one specifically, The New America, they're going to start do, uh, they're going to start highlighting, for example, Dr. Quiñones, who is from Johns Hopkins University. He's a neuroscientist. He started out coming to this country as a day laborer, undocumented, mm -hmm. and it talks about his experience. We also have Tony Gonzalez, who's a tight end for the Falcons, also talking about his experience in athleticism. And it, it's neat because it's also provides for the very first time different stories that Hispanic kids can start being inspired by and saying, you know what, I can do that. I can become a scientist. I can be a ball player. I can be a restaurateur. I'm looking forward to watching it. Yeah, yeah, me too, because it, it makes all the difference in the world when kids have people to look up to. It does. Um, that they can relate to. What about from your experience, what has the reaction been overall to the census from the Latino community here in the U.S.? Were Latinos willing to fill out the census overall, or were there these misconceptions and fear about its purpose? It was a really challenging in the beginning. My, the work that we do with Voto Latino, Be Counted, Represent, that we did some stuff with Mundos, was the importance of, first of all, dispelling the fears. We're talking about new communities, but also talking about money. There's $400 billion that get distributed as a result of this. So people always ask, where does my ta tax money go? Well, it goes back to where you live if you fill out the census. So it's we're about $10,000 per person, so about $40,000 per family for communities. So those were really the stories that we were trying to tell. It's like, don't leave money on the table. Table, communicate, make sure that you, everybody in your house school gets counted because at the end of the day, it helps new communities such as those in South Carolina understand what kind of resources they definitely need. All right. Well, Maria Teresa Kumar, the executive director for Voto Latino, thank you very much for Thanks, teasing Alex. this up. It's coming up in about, what, 17 minutes or so. So for all of you who don't want to miss the special, The New America, you can watch it today at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time, as soon as we go off the air in, as I said, about 17 minutes.